In this video, we'll take a look at the z-score normal distribution, including some of the properties of the z-score normal distribution. And first of all, the z-score distribution is symmetrical. And what that means is, if we define the area under this curve as 100%, or 1.00 if we're speaking in terms of proportions, that means that all of the values are underneath this curve or within this curve. 100% of the values fall within this curve. Now the fact that it's symmetrical means that if we drew a line down the center of this distribution where it ends at zero, which is equal to the mean of the z-score distribution, a mean of zero, then 50% or 0 0.50 of the values occur to the left of the mean and 50% or 0 0.50 of the values occur to the right of the mean. So in other words, that line splits the distribution exactly in half because it's symmetrical. Next, we can see that the mean of a z-score distribution is equal to zero, which I just said a minute ago. So the mean is equal to zero, and the standard deviation is equal to one. Now here on your screen, we're using the population symbols the Greek symbols for the mean, this is called mu is equal to zero, and sigma, or the standard deviation, is equal to one. And then finally, the mean, the median, and the mode are all equal in a z-score distribution. So if we know that the mean is equal to zero, then that tells us also that the median and the mode are also equal to zero. Now this occurs in a z-score normal distribution but it's, it's necessary that the distribution is normal in order for the properties of the 50% on each side to be true. We could calculate z-scores on any distribution, but it's required that the distribution be normal in order for these properties to hold here, all of them, and then for us to look up proportions in the back of our introductory statistics textbook to pull out proportions for various z-score values, which we'll talk about in other videos. One last thing before we close here. What is a z-score? Well, a z-score tells you how far away a value is in terms of standard deviations from the mean. Let me show you what I mean there. So if we have a z-score of one, the value that occurs right here, that indicates it's one standard deviation above the mean, and it's above the mean because it's positive. So z-score of negative two, as another example, is two standard deviations below the mean, and it's below because it's negative. A z-score of zero means that the value is zero standard deviations away from the mean, or no standard deviations away from the mean. So if you think about that, if it's zero standard deviations away, that actually means that it's equal to the mean. So a z-score of zero is just equal to the mean. Okay, that's about it for the properties of the z-score normal distribution. Thanks for watching.